Have you ever imagined what Earth would be like in 2092? The recent Korean movie released on Netflix titled Space Sweepers is a story set in the year 2092 and it topped Netflix's global top movies chart worldwide right away. A day after its release, trending video ranking website Flix Patrol's Tully showed Space Sweepers ranked number one in 16 nations including Korea, Belgium, France, Malaysia, in Japan it ranked number three and in the United States, number five. Starring Song Joong Ki and Kim Tae-ri, two bankable names as the leading roles, the movie was highly anticipated after COVID-19 delayed its release. Based off of a webtoon, Space Sweepers delves around the adventures of a space junk collector ship called The Victory and its cruise in 2092. Regarding the movie, Song Joong Ki said, since South Korean movies lack well-made sci-fi movies compared to its abundance in other genres in the film industry, Space Sweepers is being referred to as the first Korean space epic. Additionally, it is also considered as the Korean version of Star Wars on IMDb. Though the total rating of the movie is 6.6 .6 in IMDb, which says the plot is very cliché, many say the movie is still impressive due to its great CGI considering its low budget compared to Hollywood sci-fi movies. Another fun fact is that the android robot Buzz is not 100% CGI, but actor Yoo Hye-jin actually filmed their motion captures on set. The face CGI was added later in order to transform the actor into the character Buzz. The movie is also trending on Twitter because of the language. After its release, a movie critic Kate Thompson gave a favorable review saying, Alright, I love Space Sweepers. Accurate Nigerian pigeon in a non-Nigerian movie? 5 stars immediately. Seriously though, in terms of multicultural cast, this is the best movie. Not only him, but many Nigerians were amazed by the use of a Nigerian English-based Creole language pidgin and its accuracy in pronunciation. In addition, it is evaluated as a detail-oriented film since it featured characters and languages of various nationalities such as Korean, English, Arabic, Filipino, German, and Spanish. The reason behind its multiculturalism is that the future world portrayed by Space Sweepers is not a world dominated by a specific country or race, but a world read by various races and countries. In a multicultural world, director Jo Seung-hee wanted to make a movie where Koreans save the universe, which is not a common plot on a global platform. After Space Sweepers concorded Netflix's global top movies chart, Taum and Kakao Page also launched the international premiere of the original webtoon in North America, Japan, Indonesia, and France. Did you watch the movie? If you did, please leave your review in the comment section below, and I will come back with another interesting story. This was Sumiyu from Korea Now. Bye!